the ability to control fire is a defining characteristic of human evolution. In the broad narrative of our ancestral history, mastering fire is seen as a crucial step that separates early hominins from their primate cousins. This mastery did not happen overnight. It was a gradual process that evolved over hundreds of thousands of years. Initially, hominins may have used fire sporadically, dependent on natural occurrences like lightning strikes. Gradually, they learned to maintain and control these fires, using them for warmth and protection. The ability to create fire at will, however, was a leap that required a more sophisticated understanding of materials and the environment. In this context, the recent findings from the Gruta da Oliveira cave in Iberia are of immense significance. These findings suggest that Neanderthals were among the first to cross this threshold of creating fire. The evidence, which includes charred animal bones and stone tools found in proximity to hearths, indicates a regular and consistent use of fire by Neanderthals. This represents a significant evolutionary advantage and suggests that Neanderthals had a deep understanding of their environment, knowing which materials were best suited for starting fires. They would have required a knowledge of different types of wood and other combustible materials, as well as an understanding of the mechanics of fire production, such as the need for oxygen and the creation of sparks. This skill would have had far-reaching implications for Neanderthal society. For instance, the ability to cook food fundamentally changes the diet of a species. Cooking not only makes food more palatable, but also makes it easier to digest and safer to eat by killing pathogens. This could have had significant effects on Neanderthal health and nutrition, potentially leading to stronger, healthier individuals. Moreover, cooked food is more energy efficient to digest, possibly providing more energy for brain growth and development. The social implications of controlled fire use are equally significant. Fire likely played a central role in Neanderthal communities, serving as a gathering point where individuals could come together. These gatherings around the fire would have been opportunities for social interaction, storytelling, and the passing down of knowledge and traditions. The shared experience of sitting around a fire could have strengthened social bonds and fostered a sense of community and belonging. Moreover, the ability to create fire would have been a valuable skill, perhaps revered within Neanderthal communities. It's possible that individuals who were skilled in starting and maintaining fires held a special status akin to craftsmen or leaders. The control of fire might have also led to the development of early forms of spirituality or ritual. Many human societies have revered fire for its life-giving and destructive powers, and it's conceivable that Neanderthals had similar beliefs. The technological implications of fire mastery are also notable. It could be used to harden wood, making stronger, more durable tools and weapons. It could also be used to shape and sharpen stone tools, a technique known as fire napping. These improved tools would have been crucial for hunting, butchering animals, and processing hides. Fire also provided protection from predators, as many animals are naturally wary of fire. This would have allowed Neanderthals to defend themselves and their communities more effectively. The discovery of Neanderthals' ability to create fire also prompts a re-evaluation of the cognitive abilities of Neanderthals compared to early Homo sapiens. For a long time, Neanderthals were thought to be less intelligent than Homo sapiens, but this view has been changing. The evidence of advanced fire use is a strong argument against the notion of Neanderthals as mere brutes. It suggests that they were innovative and capable of abstract thought, planning, and complex problem-solving. In addition to the cognitive abilities, this discovery also highlights the adaptability of Neanderthals. Neanderthals lived in a range of environments, from the warm climates of the Mediterranean 
to the harsh, cold conditions of Ice Age Europe. The ability to create fire would have been especially crucial in colder regions, providing not only warmth, but also a means to melt ice for water and to cook food that was otherwise too hard or frozen to eat. The question of how Neanderthal fire use compares to that of early Homo sapiens is also intriguing. Homo sapiens, emerging around 300,000 years ago in Africa, also used fire. But the exact timing and nature of their fire use compared to Neanderthals are still subjects of research and debate. Some evidence suggests that early Homo sapiens may have had similar abilities to create and control fire, which would indicate parallel developments in different human lineages. This parallel development could point to similar levels of cognitive abilities and technological innovation. Finally, the interbreeding between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, which is now a well-established fact, adds another layer to this narrative. The genetic exchange between these two species suggests not only coexistence, but also a certain level of interaction and perhaps even mutual learning. It is fascinating to consider whether knowledge of fire use and other technologies was shared between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens during their interactions. In conclusion, the recent discoveries about Neanderthal fire use provide a more nuanced and complex picture of these ancient relatives. They were not just simple, primitive beings, but rather sophisticated individuals with a deep understanding of their environment and the ability to manipulate it to their advantage. The mastery of fire was a key aspect of Neanderthal life, impacting their diet, social structure, technology, and possibly even their spiritual beliefs. As we continue to uncover more about Neanderthals and their capabilities, we gain a greater appreciation for their place in our shared evolutionary history and the legacy they have left in our own genetic makeup. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.